All right. So we went through three very uh, cute girls that, you know, end up with you dying. <laughs> but still, I guess the next person is Anemone. Anemone. Pink. Is Anemone, well, Anemone, is that a flower? I thought that was some kind of like, you know, sea plant. Or, or, or I don't know, anyway. Anemone. Anemone. Also a funny name. Anemone. That vivid and lo lovely flower blooms but for a fleeting moment and comes to an end, tinged with lovesickness. For long, at the end of the road, the flower of despair will bloom. That's Anemone. I guess, well, that's a sea anemone, right? That's what I'm thinking of. I think of anemone, though. Is that... I don't know why, to be honest. It's like an, like a very vague memory. But I remember watching Eureka, uh, or rather Eureka Seven, right? What's the name of the anime? I can't remember. It was like this weird kind of mecha anime, but it was like slice of life at the same time. I don't know. But like I just remember there was a pink haired girl. I don't remember her name was Anemone though, but for some reason it reminds me of her. Um, well she is a pink hair though. She's purple hair. Huh. I don't know, am I colorblind? I swear it was pink. Anyway, ne ne ne, ne ne ne, ne 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 ne. Young woman, love by fortune. I saw it was pink. In the, in the, in the initial choice. Uh, with wealth, power, and beauty beyond compare. Wow. He's rich. I'm going to, you know marry her for her money. Is that how it works? Uh, to you, she devotes her all. Her all. Hmm. Guess we'll see. What happens? Now let the flower of despair bloom. Yay. Bloom all over. Alright. What happened last time? Uh, technically, in the session of recording this, it's been a week. So, it's been a while. But I guess, last time, technically, canonically, we jumped out a window, right? I, I, and to me, it seemed like a, like, at most, like a two-story building. Or a house, really. So, it didn't seem like that big of a fall. But we turned to a skeleton? I don't know how that works. <laughs> anyway. But, you know, we got better. We got our skin back. With the magic of resurrection. We got, you know, our blood, meat, and organs back, and now we're walking around. Uh, the usual road and the usual scenery. Hmm? I suddenly stopped my feet. Something had fallen at my feet. A ring. It was a ring with a common, simple design. A beautiful diamond was set into the ring. I didn't know if the diamond is real, but it certainly looked expensive. How much could I get if I sold it? Thinking how lucky I was, I put it in my pocket. You know, I thought about that. I actually did find, you know, my last job, my old job. I did find like some kind of weird gem, you know, that looked like sapphire when I was cleaning. And I was thinking, you know, if I could actually sell this, but like, I don't know. As far as I could tell, it was fake. So like, there's like things you could do to check if it's fake or not. It seemed fake. I don't know, but how would you sell it if it was real, you know? how? Because I did research on it, actually, because apparently things like diamonds, for example, are actually not that expensive um, if if you're not the person, like, if you're not the company that owns the diamond mines and sells them, like jewelry stores and whatnot, if you're just some dude, selling a diamond is actually not really worth that much, as it turns out. <laughs> you know, the rocks, these shiny rocks are ac aren't actually worth that much. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, like you could go to a pawn shop, I guess, but no, I don't know. Anyway, not here, not there either. Yeah, she does look like she's in a, a wedding gown. Whatever should I do? I must have dropped it when I accidentally bump into someone. Over there was a girl crouching down while wearing a fancy dress. 
She had a dignified figure, almost like a lady from some faraway land. Before I realized, I called out to her. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I should. It seems like most of the choices you make in the beginning don't really matter. But I'm gonna save anyway, just in case. Uh, I guess. I guess I'll save there. Uh, what are you looking for? Kind sir, I'm searching for a ring I dropped. It's a ring with a simple design, with a diamond set into it. Oh, could it be? Kind sir, what, what do you have in your hand is... I mean... <laughs> this this choice does seem to matter, but whatever, we'll just hand over the ring. Here you go. Like again, like it's hard to sell gems, I guess. I mean, you could sell it for the... Maybe, maybe if the ring was made out of gold, maybe. I don't know, anyway. Thank you very much. Kind passerby. This is my greatest treasure. You've really saved me. Pardon me, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Please, call me Nenene. Nenene. That was funny. Nenene. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, but I'm, as I'm assuming it's not supposed to be silly. I don't know. Nenene. 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 Three nes. And how may I address you, kind sir? Apparently, I'm uh, Ito, right? Or Itaro? Itaro, not Ito. <laughs> Where would I get that name from? I don't know. Anyway. My, my, Itaro. What a lovely name you have. Allow me to express my gratitude once more, kind Itaro. If it pleases you, allow this nenene to treat you to a delicious feast sometime. Now that's settled. I have some business to attend to. So I must take my leave now. Let us meet again, my dear Itro. Great. Hopefully she's not another serial killer. After exchanging greetings with me, the girl named Nenene hurriedly left the scene. Then I better get going as well. Yeah, most of these stories are pretty lead, uh, linear in the beginning. I, I, I do wonder what would happen if you said, you know, you must be mistaken. <laughs> you know, this ring is mine. I mean, I, I don't think much would change, to be honest, even if it seems like it would. It's the Bioware thing, you know? Like, the choices seem like they matter, but they don't. It's Bioware or, like, uh, Telltale Games, you know? For the most part. Day was the best. No way could I normally ever meet such a lovely lady. She not only thanked me, but we even exchanged contacts. Or did we? I must thank my lucky stars. Perhaps this is my fated encounter? Just thinking of seeing her again fills my heart with expectation. I mean, I don't know. She's, she's in like a white dress with like a diamond ring. I mean, I don't, she seems like she's going to get married. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, then I better sleep well tonight. Oh, yes, to me. Oh, yes, to me. Oh, yes, to me. No. Close your eyes and you'll be here soon. Blah, blah. Men, 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 hey, Rafisi. Rafisa. I still can't. Rafisia? Rafisia. Rafisia. I think love is something that must be freely given. For example, even if I weren't free to choose my own marriage partner, I'd still be able to freely choose the one I love. Even if my body is sold to someone, my heart would still be yours. Even though I always think of you, I won't be punished as long as I don't put my feelings into words. Okay. But that's why... I cannot give up. My bad girl. All I can think about is you. 
Because I have been saved by you once again. Or, I don't know why I put once again, rather, just once. And what uh, can I do for you in return? Uh, should any harm befall you, I will repay them tenfold with my own hands. Even though I should lose everything, I will protect you to the very end. I've fallen deeply in love with you. Alright. I mean, this seems to be... The, the setup seems to be... Um, you know, the, the, the cliche where... She's super rich and everything. But like... Uh, she is... You know, she has to have a fiancé or whatever. Like, like the olden times, you know, when... You would have arranged marriages for like political power, I guess. The kings and queens and whatnot. But like, obviously, she's not into it. And then that's where we come in? I don't know. I mean, that's the cliche. Also kind of weird that she just fell in love with us after one, you know, meeting, really. But that's the implication. I don't know. Well, today I promised to meet with Nenene. I better head over to the meeting place as soon as possible. But on the way, some upperclassmen bullies at my club beat me black and blue. Ow. It wasn't a rare event for them to shake me down and take my money, even though they're already rich, I guess. Or, no, no, upperclassmen, oh, upperclassmen means senpai. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for some reason, when I thought upperclassmen, I thought, as in from the upper classes, you know, like, because <laughs> like, I was thinking about rich people and, you know, arranged marriages. Anyway. But no, uh, rather, as in, like, they're a year above us, is what they mean. Which seems to imply that we're back to being a teenager, I guess? We're back to being at school? <laughs> Although, thanks to them, my face and body were all hurting. In such a sorry state, I felt ashamed. So if you meet a refined lady like Nenene, by the time I reached our meeting place, the time we had arranged had long gone by. I wonder if Nene will even be waiting. At our meeting place, Nene was waiting there. She'd been waiting patiently for me. Okay, maybe it's just a dress. I mean, I guess a wedding gown would look like. Decoration, maybe. It's just like a white dress, just makes me think of brides. My dear Itoro, Itoro, what has happened? Those injuries. I just tripped a lot, you know, the, my black eye, my bleeding nose, and my roughed up, you know, clothes and rips everywhere and tears everywhere. You know, I just tripped. I don't know. I'll just say it's not a serious injury. No matter how you look at it, there's no other possibility. Itoro, please do not hide it from me. Just who, who's done this to you? I see. So it was the upperclassman from Itoro's club. Good grief, yare yare does it. Why would anyone do such a thing to you? I don't, I don't think she literally says yare yare does it. It's just that, you know. It's often translated as good grief. You know, yada yada does it. That Zay part is definitely would not be her uh her language anyway. Uh, so they always make you go through this? What a poor thing. Please wait a bit. I'll call a car. Let's get you treated at the hospital immediately. It's not gonna cost money. What's what's the hell what's the healthcare in Japan? I'm assuming we're in Japan. Um, you don't have to go that far. I'll just simply live with these wounds. I'll just simply live with it. Will you really be all right? Well, if my dear Itoro says so. Please let me dis let me disinfect it. It'll be uh, it'll be bad if it got infected and you turn into a zombie. Because we're in a zombie apocalypse. It turns out. No. Nenene treated my wounds with some simple first aid. 
and after some small talk, we went to a restaurant for dinner. It's French cuisine. Itoro, my dear, is it to your liking? Indulge yourself and please don't worry about your manners here. I've reserved the whole place for us. <laughs> Must have cost a lot of money. Or maybe you're friends with the restaurant owner, I don't know. I must say once more, thank you very much for finding my ring the other day. Truly, truly, you saved me. It was my dear departed, mother's last gift to me. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's, that's where the diamond ring's from. Ah, I just assumed. Diamond ring, white dress. I mean, she did mention the whole, like, you know, cliche about having a fiancé and everything, but I don't know. Well, that's why, dear Toro, I cannot possibly ever thank you enough. Were my feelings able to reach you? Hmm. I don't really get it. I just gave you your ring back. You know, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> your shy side is wonderful, too. By the way, just what kind of club activities do you do? Snucker. Art club. Um, I mean, I don't know. Which one is the lie? <laughs> or does it matter? Um, like it'd be funny. Well, soccer kind of makes sense. Because when you imagine bullies, I guess you imagine physically active bullies. But like if they're, if he's in the art club, he's a bunch of artists is beating us up. Why would they do that? I don't know. I'm just thinking like less, the people who are in the art club less likely to just beat up people for no reason. They're like, you did, you didn't draw this correctly. You know, you, 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 I don't know. Uh, you plagiarized my painting. I must now punch you in the face. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll say this. one. I'm in art club. Hi, my dear Itoro. Were you able to draw? What a wonderful talent. Then you must come to my house sometime. Please show me some nice things. In this way, I spent my time with Nenene. Nenene? 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 I don't know, again, I feel like I'm, I'm, like, the, the way I'm pronouncing it, you know, is wrong, but... Uh, uh, we only made small talk. But even so, the happy time we spent together passed by in a flash. Nenene. 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 Nenene anemone. It's a tongue twister. Nenene anemone. Although today started off really roughly, in the end, it was a good day. When I had dinner together with Nenene, I was actually really nervous, but... All said, I had a grand time. A grand old time. Slowly, I found myself becoming attracted to Nenene. You know, it's happening all over again, despite my previous relationships. <laughs> it scared me to no end. When I realized that I had, in fact, fallen in love, I shook my head. It was a beautiful dream. But I was brought down by the cruel reality. I know, the way I am now... There's no way I'm suited for Nenene. I'm no good for her. And that's why I'll become a gold digger, is it not? I mean, she seems rich. That's my impression of her. She's rich. So we simply take all her money. We seduce her and take all her money. No. I, mean, I, I wouldn't put it past the protagonist, considering how he acted in the other route with um, the cosplay girl. 
seemed like a big asshole in that one. I don't know. Maybe well, maybe the I mean, all the protagonists are named Itoro, and obviously in all the stories he dies. So maybe every I incarnation of Itoro is not the same person. You know, it's not the same personality. Anyway, uh, unforgivable. Why should such a gentle soul have to endure such harsh trials? That's absolutely wrong. Whoever would dare hurt my dear Itoro? Very intense music. I will erase them. In order for you to continue living. So that you will not be troubled. So that you won't have to go through any more hard times. Great. She, she went to an RPG battle with her upperclassmen in the art club and took out her machine gun. And freaking <laughs> said, say hello to my little friend. No, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. No hard feelings, okay? That you will not be hurt again. Nuisances will be asterisked. Oh no. For the sake of your competition, your rivals will be also Asterisk. Anything that causes you anxiety, I will eliminate them all with my machine gun. With infinite ammo. My dear Itaro, this is all for your sake. It's like that one scene in Cold Gears. Anyway. I mean, it's not so bad, right? As long as, you know, technically, we, we claim no criminality of this. We're not, uh, you know, we're not accomplices at all. We only stand to benefit from this, you see. Like, imagine, like, if you could, <laughs> I don't know, imagine the protagonist enters an art contest, and then she simply eliminates everyone else, and then we get the first place by default. Easy. That's how, that's how you do it, right? Uh, one of the bullies at my club seems to have passed away. Oh, yes, passed away. Among my classmates, a rumor spread that he had been in a lot of debt and was erased by debt collectors. Hmm. Disregarding such rumors, Nenin and I decided to go out on our day off. Just the two of us. Erased. I guess he's sleeping with the fishes. He part of the mafia, you know? Or well, I guess technically in Japan it would be the Yakuza. Um, Itaro. About the movie theater. Itaro, have you been there before? No, movies are for losers. No, um, in truth, I have never set foot in one before. I would like to go see it, just for once. No, I refuse. I'd rather just watch a Netflix. Uh, I'll go if Nenene pays. Oh, well, let's just go together. You know, I said to be a gold digger, but it can't be that obvious. You, know, you can't be too obvious about it. Uh, thank you very much. For me, going alone is a bit... My, you're such a reliable person. Uh, what movie are you going to watch? Uh, the movie we went to see was... Dinosaurs appeared in the modern world. What will become of humanity? A movie with a tagline like that. Okay, it's Jurassic Park. It seems this kind of thing is popular now. Although I don't really get it. While watching the movie, our hands met and my heart skipped a beat. But Nedine's reaction was the same as mine. Our feelings for each other... Might be mutual. Itoro. The movie was amazing, was it not? The way the dinosaurs jumped out, it was almost like they were real. Nenene was seemingly in high spirits. But I could sense a hint of loneliness in that bittersweet smile. Should I voice it out? 
It might not be my place to butt in, but... Do we have a choice? Or... Um... Yeah, sure. Is something worrying you? Ah. <laughs> Itoro, it seems I can't hide anything from you. I'm sorry, Itoro. I'll tell you everything. The truth is, I'm going to get married. You may have already noticed, but... I'm a daughter of a company president. My father has decided that I'll be married off. I had no say in it. The night when I first met you, I was running away from a marriage and interview. In my desperation to get away, I dropped my most precious ring. While searching for it, you, you found it for me, Taro. Were you surprised? Itaro, I'm sorry. We're hiding it from you. Until now. I'm also not going to mention the murder, though. I'm not going to mention me murdering <laughs> your bullies. But anyway. Hmm. How do, you, how do you feel about this? As for myself, I don't want to marry the man my father chooses. My partner for life. That is something I wanted to decide for myself. This once in a lifetime choice isn't something that should be left to others. Well, once, I don't know. Once in a lifetime, technically, you know, divorce rates are very high in modern times. Anyway, uh, I will not go through it with it. I do not wish to have any regrets. Well, thanks for listening to my story, Itaro. Just having someone listen to it takes a lot off my mind. After sending me home by car, once again. The girl behind the car window smiled a lonely smile. I actually don't know the, the rules in Japan about like those kind of arranged marriages. Is it enforced or not? I swear like it used to be, but then they changed it, right? Or something. Like it was strange that they, like the the idea of, of having arranged marriages in the first place uh, in modern times is a little bit weird, but they kept up with it for a while. And then later they changed. I don't know. I'm not sure about the law behind that. Because I'm just thinking like, you can just not, you know? If you really don't want to. However, your quality of life will probably go down because your family will disown you. And you won't get, you know, any allowance. You know, you won't have a trust fund anymore. You want to, you, you, can't, you can't be rich anymore, I guess. Anyway. I, I had a hard time sleeping that night. Then a sudden confession threw me in for a loop. Was there anything I could do? I like her, of that I'm sure. So I wanted her to be fond of me too. I'm a hypocrite. I talk big, but... All I could do was listen to her story. Even though I had listened to her troubles and tried to involve myself, I had no concrete answers for her. I had no money. In order to do anything in this world, I need money. How powerless I am. I can't do anything. I mean, we own a house. Look, you know, I don't know when this game was made, but like, in this economy, just having a house is, is already, that's, that's already a step up. This this house is like worth a lot, unless you're renting, I guess. I'm assuming that he's not renting though. This seems to be just a normal middle class house. Uh, maybe because she knows that as well. So she deliberately chose not to tell me anything until now. Is that it though? What if that was her cry for help? Just what am I supposed to do? Then they please tell me. I mean, obviously, if this is a normal rom-com story, this is when the protagonist simply just goes up to the father and like, please allow me to marry your daughter. And the father's like, no. It's like, no. And then they fight. I don't know. Something like that.
and then the main character proves himself, despite being economically disadvantaged. They, they end up marrying or whatever. And that's supposed to be the love story. But obviously this is not a normal love story. Dear Zitoro, I've not gone mad. You're always in the center of my world. Since when did I become this delusional? You took me by the hand and pulled me out of this dark reality. Since when did I start seeing such dreams? Here is Itaro. You soothe me with your gentle words. Only you be, will acknowledge me. You see through to the real me. Since when did I become unable to tell dreams from reality? Everything is for your sake. Okay, I don't know what she was doing there. She was doing something with ominous music. It's great. Cool. Is it time to bloom? It's time to bloom. The flower of despair has bloomed. For a few days now, I hadn't been able to contact Nenene. I received no reply to the emails I sent. She's ghosting me. What had happened? Did I make a mistake somewhere? Was it because I couldn't find the appropriate words? Was it because my feelings were unable to reach her? I want to meet you, Nene. What are you doing now? Have you already been married? Alone in a dark room with no human contact. I returned to my original solitude. Now that she was gone, I felt truly alone. I wanted to feel the warmth of those hands. Just once more, I wanted to bask in Nenene's warmth again. And her money. The money was like, you know, a big plus. In the midst of such thoughts, my phone suddenly vibrated. Surprised, I quickly glanced at my screen. It was the thing I had been eagerly waiting, Nenene's email. I'll be waiting at the place we first met. Hurriedly, I popped on my bicycle and rushed to that spot. In the middle of the night, when no one's around. I guess. At the place we met for the first time, waiting for me there, was a girl with a lonely expression. Itaro. You came for me. I so wanted to see you, Itoro. I'm sorry for calling you at this hour. I hadn't been able to contact you for a long time. I'm sorry for causing you worry. You baka? <laughs> sure. Baka. I'm truly sorry, the Itoro. How can I ever apologize? I've already decided to run away from home. So today is the last day I can stay in this town. 
So before I go, I wanted to say a farewell to you. I know it must be too sudden for you. Itoro, for the last time, will you listen to my selfish words? No. Daga. Kotowa, no. Uh, from now on, I'm just talking to myself. I don't mind if you pretend this conversation never existed. Okay. Wakarimasu. Wakarimasu. I understand. Thank you very much. Then, Itaro, I beg of you. Please take me with you away from here. Somewhere far away. Somewhere out of my father's reach. Away from sight. I, I'll be fine with you, Itaro. No, it can only be you. I've realized. Itaro, I wanted to be with you. I. Okay. This is the obvious choice. Let's go together, Nanane. This will totally end positively and happily. Don't worry about it. Itoro. Oh, Itoro. Nanane held me tightly with tears flowing down from her eyes. I love... I love you. Uh, I love you too. Itaro, I love you. Your tenderness, your body, your heart, all of it. What should I do about this feeling? Oh, Itaro, will you listen to me? Listen, listen, I... Feels strange. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Choto mate. Itoro, have you realized? The one who extinguished the pests from your side was me. At first, I was doing it all for your sake. But, but... The quivering shoulders, the gushing blood... The smell, the smell, the feeling of stabbing through flesh, the thrill of the hunt. I've fallen in love with it all. Frickin' humans. I, <laughs> we're frickin no, uh, asteriking humans. I can't live without it. I can't hold back any longer. Where do we go wrong? Or is she saying that? Oh, I'm saying that. I don't know. Where do we go wrong? That's right. Even though I should have known, I wonder why I forgot. This world is. A 
terribly cruel and irrational world. Okay, cool. Great. Bad end. Awakening. As it turns out, she didn't love us. She just loved killing. <laughs> you know? That's her true love. Daga. Kotoaru. Nah, sorry. I was only in it for the money. I only wanted to date you for the money. I understand. As the one who has imposed upon you, even if your feelings have not changed, I have no right to say anything. Until you appeared, I was completely alone. Without a mother or anyone to rely on, there's no one I could confine in. My dark days were turned around by you. You were my light, encouraging me and granting me the will to live. Even if your words were a gentle lie. That lie saved me. So I thank you. Okay, bye. Then I slowly started to walk away from me. And I did nothing. And goodbye, my beloved. I did absolutely nothing like a pathetic loser. Not long after, she stopped a short distance from me. I was happy. Pulling out a pistol, she placed it to her forehead and yelled persona. Turns out it was a real bullet. Then his body fell. Where'd she get that gun? <laughs> I mean, she, I guess she has connections. Without trying to help her, I stare blankly as... Then they ended her life. Of her own hands. Nene's white dress became seeped in the crimson dye. Is it just me or? Is the pool like getting bigger or... I don't know. I approached and stopped before the beautiful crimson flower. Or maybe it's just my expectation. I, I swear the, the blood pool just got bigger. Am I crazy? Was it so subtle that it zoomed in or somehow? I don't know. Anyway. A flower of fleeting love. Maybe not. That has now bloomed. How beautiful it is. All right, do we call the police now or? This body, you know, needs to be cleaned up. Uh, you're such a bad boy, aren't you? Then I seem to be saying, with a little smile. A 
as she rose up because she was a zombie. And it was the start of a zombie apocalypse. I quickly pick up the gun and I survive. Now, um, happy ending. It's never really a happy ending, is it? Th apparently, that's the happy ending. Hey, at least we live. Hey, that's really one way we don't die, I think. Maybe. Oh, so far, anyway. Alright, well. Uh, let's check out... I always... Uh, not always, but it, it seems like recently, every time, I always pick the correct choice, technically. I always want to pick the, the wrong choice first, you know? It's funny how the last three is like the, the correct choice seems to always be like the wrong choice. I don't know. Anyway. All right, there's a, there's a credits, whole credit sequence as well. I like the song. Very, I don't know, very Higurashi, I guess? Or maybe not Higurashi. I don't know. Hmm, I wonder how I'm gonna edit for YouTube. You know, I imagine maybe on YouTube I'll probably like cut the credits part out. Oh, it just seems like kind of drawn. Like, or rather, what's the word? Drawn out, you know? You don't have to look at the credits every single time. <laughs> I feel like. The song's great, though. What's this song remind me of? I mean, I, I guess it reminds me of Nier as well. Nier Automata. I like that too. Hey, hey, mother. What's this flower? What's it called? Anemone, my dear. Ne -ne -ne. It's my favorite flower. Isn't it beautiful? Hmm, okay, so this is her childhood. I guess, you know, obviously she did have a mother. I guess her mother passed away. Yep, it's really cute. And I love this flower. Hey, mother. We're just like these anemones. My, aren't we? Father and mother and then they. We're all one happy family too. Mother, will we always be close together like that? Don't worry. As long as everyone is together, we will live happily ever after. Yep, together forever. With mother and father. I love both of you. Okay. Well. As she lays in the pool of her own blood. You know, her, her head is surprisingly intact for a gunshot. Like a point-blank gunshot. You think it would cause more damage. Mother. I'm coming. To see you. I'm glad. Let's see, clear password 5! T-O! Okay, let me just write that down real quick. Notepad. Where's my note? T-O, was it? Uh, where is it? I put it in my desk. Password 5. Not that I, ma I mean, I imagine somebody already put the password out there on the online anyway, but... Uh. Alright, that's both endings for the Anemone route. Um... Kind of weird, like, I, 
I mean, I guess all of the endings are kind of weird, but like the the the, the end of the choice there, like <laughs> it's funny how much of a whiplash it is. You know, either she freaking just turns into another serial killer, or she just kills herself. You know, it's like you would think she'd kill herself because she got rejected. I don't, I don't know. I, I I guess indulging in her in her love just means you know she loves to kill. As it turns out, um, yeah, um. Like her motivations are just weird. <laughs> I don't get her motivations. Like you, like you choose to run away from her, but I, I don't know. Anyway, weird. You know, turns out she just got over it really quickly. Turns out it wasn't infa it was infatuation. You know. <sighs> anyway, um, all right. So let's go to the final route. <laughs> 